मैं नरेंद्र दामोदर दास मोदी ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूं कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगा Under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, today a new India is rising. A pragmatic, purposeful and a proactive India. Purposeful pursuit of national interests, pragmatic issue-based alignments with countries and a proactive diplomatic outreach characterize and configure India's foreign policy. with an enhanced diplomatic outreach shaping and stabilizing the geopolitical landscape focused on diplomacy for development offering a wide array of citizen centric services and promoting an increasingly powerful brand india indian foreign policy is today functioning on these five pillars following the exemplary india way amne वैश्विक प्रवाहों के बीच रहना है वैश्विक प्रवाहों के साथ संतुलन बना करके रहना है वैश्विक प्रवाहों के साथ कंधे से कंधा मिला करके चलना है लेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सपोर्टेड बाय द एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर एंड अदर मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस पर्पसफुल प्रोएक्टिव एंड प्रैग्मेटिक डिप्लोमेटिक आउटरीच हैज टचड द लाइव्स ऑफ कॉमन पीपल forming the bedrock of india's foreign policy india's people's policy last few years have seen a record number of high level incoming and outgoing visits at the level of president vice president prime minister external affairs minister and other ministers of the government of india under the brahad samparka yojana outreach initiative undertaken by ministry of external affairs covering more than 190 united nations countries these initiatives by the external affairs ministry underline india's enhanced diplomatic outreach to not just individual countries but to continents The ministry recognizes the need to proactively shape the international agenda on issues ranging from climate change to infrastructure building. The India way now especially would be to be more of a decider or a shaper rather than an abstainer. I think the India way would be a country which brings its capacities to bear on the international system for global good. driven by the ethos of mutual empowerment india has shared funds technology and expertise with countries in africa asia eastern europe central and latin america this development cooperation channelized through lines of credit and grants includes assistance in capacity building training and enhanced cooperation in education and health In the spirit of South South solidarity, India has committed around 30.66 billion dollars for 300 LOCs to 64 countries. 560 LOCs projects out of which 300 have been completed and 260 are underway. Building connectivity at strategic locations has been an important tool for diplomacy since long. The new India is working proactively to connect with the world. The Chabahar port development by India in Iran is now operational, providing sea land connectivity with Afghanistan for trading between India, Iran and Afghanistan. The port is being operated by an Indian company India Ports Global Limited which handled more than 5 lakh tons of cargo 
There are ongoing projects with neighboring countries also, focused on improving connectivity. There is the 1360 kilometers long India Myanmar Thailand Trilateral Highway connecting Moray in Manipur to Mysore in Thailand, which is set to change the face of the northeast region. ये तीन देश का हाईवे जो बनेगा तो वो लोगों को आना जाना होगा वो हम लोग का भी कमाई वमाई होगा वो हम लोग का परिवार आसान से हम लोग चलने सकेगा In the last four years, we have jumped. 65 places in the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking to 77th and we are determined to move into the top 50 next year. We are one of the most open countries for foreign direct investment today. More than 90% of our sectors are now on automatic route for approval. And the confidence in India, we have received FDI worth over $250 billion over the past four years. This diplomacy for development is also focused on strengthening international ties to attract FDI inflows and improve the business environment in the country. Commitment of substantial FDI has been made by partner nations, housing several Fortune 500 companies. This is a direct result of India's unprecedented diplomatic outreach and economic reforms. Understanding the need to foster global linkages for attaining national development in India, the Ministry of External Affairs is playing a proactive role in facilitating people-centric domestic programs of national development in the country, thus engaging in diplomacy for development. The Ministry of External Affairs constantly strives to ensure the energy security of the country. Diplomatic efforts have enabled India to procure uninterrupted and affordable flow of oil and natural gas from major Gulf countries. The energy security program is also proactively working towards attaining energy self-sufficiency. Past few years have witnessed India's extensive collaboration with energy-rich countries for developing alternative source of energy. These diplomatic efforts for energy security are on nuclear energy, hydrocarbons, and renewable energy. International partnerships have expanded dramatically on the nuclear energy front, with nuclear power being the fifth largest source of electricity in India. Global linkages are also being cemented to obtain technological and financial support for enhanced production of renewable energy. Through diplomatic engagements with like-minded countries, India took the first step to spearhead the International Solar Alliance that will provide clean energy to millions of Indians by expediting solar energy production. It is estimated to contribute towards government's target of achieving 175 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2022, out of which 100 gigawatts will be of solar energy.
one more project with the ministry engaging proactively in diplomacy for development is the Namami Gange program which was launched to rejuvenate the living heritage the river of life the sacred Ganga मुझे लगता है कि नमामि गंगे एक शानदार बेहतर योजना प्रारंभ की गई The ministry has at the forefront of securing foreign collaboration and technical expertise for the Namami Gange project. ये सबसे बड़ी बात तो है वो है बाहर के देश जो वो भी अपने बन गए जर्मनी जापान नीदरलैंड इसराइल अमेरिका ये सारे अनेकों देश मिलकर सब ने अपना सहयोग दिया फंडिंग आई और मुझे लगता है कि और देश भी अब जुड़ेंगे What is giving a fillip to this increase in FDI is the government of India's largest manufacturing initiative, Make in India. The focus of the government in Make in India helps greatly in developing not only processes but also people and talents in the country, which is in my opinion the main enabler for growing an economy. So it's very important to uh, develop uh, talents and people in order to be able then to compete not only domestically but internationally. Leading companies from around the world are now eyeing India to set up a manufacturing base for their products. एक चार साल पहले हमारे सरकार ने जो मेक इन इंडिया की घोषणा की थी उसी दौरान हमारे यहाँ पे बहुत सारी कंपनीज आए यहाँ पे बहुत सारे लोगों को रोजगार मिला है और हम ये देखना चाहते हैं कि हमारा भारत एक सशक्त भारत बनते हुए फ्रॉम इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज टू जनरेशन ऑफ एडिशनल जॉब इंडिया जॉइंट वेंचर विद फॉरन कंपनीज इज क्रिएटिंग अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रन साउंड इन द कंट्री This initiative has also reduced India's dependency on foreign imports. The Make in India initiative has also ignited a startup culture in India. Today, India is sourcing capital and technology for startups. through collaborative ventures with other countries all of which has been made possible with ministry of external affairs mantra of diplomacy for development in terms of how uh, you know the whole startup ecosystem in india is growing that's also benefiting because both talent and the ecosystem is uh, is more acceptable to to new age fast growing tech based companies in india Another initiative supported by the ministry's vision of diplomacy for development is Skill India. An ambitious mission of training 400 million Indians by 2022. Skill India is committed to empower the youth of the country, create a dynamic skilled workforce and transform India into the world's human resource capital. by implementing and adapting the best practices in skill development of partner country system the ministry's active collaboration has resulted in transfer of technology for skill training training of trainers setting up of model centers of excellence the japan india skill connect is one such example that proposes to train 30000 youth in japanese style manufacturing in the upcoming 10 years contributing to the government's vision of skill india it also aims to develop the skills of 10000 young indian talents who will be visiting japan bahut hi acha program hai ye jitne bhi jo middle class log hote hai jo sochte hai ki hum koi mehange course nahi kar sakte ye un logo ke liye kafi acha program hai uske sath sath unhe ek nayi language seekhne ka bhi mauka milta hai Development focused diplomacy is often seen in the interweaving of flagship schemes of the government. One more such program is Smart Cities, which aims at enhancing the quality of life of its citizens through the application of smart solutions. Several countries have shown a keen interest in helping India realize its ambitious dream of developing 100 smart cities.
Digital intervention has taken the country by storm in the last few years. The contribution of the Ministry of External Affairs in transforming the digital identity of the entire country using the philosophy of diplomacy for development has been monumental. The Ministry has led the way by forging digital partnerships with other countries to strengthen digital empowerment in the country. Through an investment of more than $300,000, coming from top CEOs and support given by leading companies like Google, Microsoft, Qualcomm and Facebook, efforts are getting channelized for upgrading the country's overall digital infrastructure. Ranging from awareness campaigns like pre-departure orientation training and portals like eSanad, Mother, eMigrate to help people migrate easily, along with services in centers like Pravasi Bharatiya Sahayata Kendra and Indian Community Welfare Fund, as well as the expedited passport services, the foreign policy is focused on helping Indians living in the country and abroad. The far-spread digitalization has helped the ministry in launching platforms like eSanad back in 2017. With such centralized platforms, the people of the country can, for the very first time, get their documents verified and attested, cashless, faceless and paperless. गवर्नमेंट के ई सनद इनिशिएटिव से मुझे ये फायदा हुआ है कि अब मेरे सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स जो हैं वो एक ही जगह वेरीफाई और अटेस्ट हो जाएंगे तो अगर मुझे किसी कंपनी या फॉरेन इंस्टीट्यूट में अप्लाई करना हो तो मुझे 10 अलग-अलग जगह जाके उनकी वेरिफिकेशन नहीं करवानी पड़ेगी ऑन द अदर हैंड पोर्टल्स लाइक मदद रन बाय द मिनिस्ट्री आर सिग्निफिकेंटली चेंजिंग द लाइव्स ऑफ इंडियन सिटीजंस अब्रॉड हु नीड टू or want to file their consular grievances with the Indian government. And linked to Madad is the fully automated system of e-migrate, which has made the process of immigration simpler and transparent. E-migrate with agents or travels agency can check license check that the government of India has done it or not, or not, or not, or not, or not, or not. सुरक्षित जाओ प्रशिक्षित जाओ विश्वास के साथ जाओ द मिनिस्ट्री हैज एडेड अनदर लेयर ऑफ सर्विसेज टू इंश्योर स्मूदर ट्रांजेक्शनिंग एंड सेटलिंग इन फॉर एवरी इंडियन हु विशेज टू गो एब्रॉड वर्क एंड सेटल इन अ न्यू कल्चर एंड कंट्री सुरक्षित जाए प्रशिक्षित जाए और विश्वास के साथ जाए ये नारा हम इधर ट्रेनिंग के अंदर ये नारा हम बोल के जाते हैं और हम सुरक्षित ही उधर जाने से। A pre-departure orientation training is conducted by the ministry to improve the migration experience of these aspirants and make them aware of the rules and regulations of their destination country. जो ट्रेनिंग लेके जाते हैं उनके लिए बहुत बेस्ट है क्योंकि आगे उनको हर चीज का मालूमात होता है कि हमको कहाँ से क्या करना है क्या करना नहीं चाहिए और हम लोगों को परेशानी में हम किससे मिलना चाहिए किससे बात करनी चाहिए आठ घंटे की छोटी सी ट्रेनिंग है होने को तो सिर्फ आठ घंटे की है लेकिन इस ट्रेनिंग के दौरान उनके अस्सी से नब्बे उनके जो इशूज हैं प्रॉब्लम्स हैं वो सॉर्ट आउट हो जाती है इस ट्रेनिंग के दौरान to ensure the well-being of the overseas Indian community. Good afternoon, PBSK. This is Mamda. How may I help you? One such single point window of service for Indians living anywhere in the world are the Pravasi Bharatiya Sahayata Kendras, cells with a team of experts working on legal, financial and social issues. I have to advise you about some passport. I have to help you with all the passport. From helping runaway maids to deserted housewives, these centers are the beacon of hope and a home away from home for all Indians. Facebook में एक पेज मिला 
यानी प्रवास भारतीय समिति बाद में उधर एक टोल फ्री नंबर देखा मैं वो टोल फ्री नंबर को टेलीफोन कर कर सब कुछ बता दिया मुझे मदद चाहिए मैं क्या करूँ ऐसा बोले तो लोग बोला वो पे दुबई में कौंसलेट जनरल ऑफ दुबई आप उधर जा सकता है Along with assistance in distress, offices of Protector of Immigrants in India also provides financial assistance and run an insurance scheme, providing compulsory coverage to Indians working in ECR countries, especially the Gulf region. मेरा बेटा मर गया था उस सऊदी में वहाँ से उसकी मैयत आई मैयत आई तो उसका मेरा बेटा जो गया था यहाँ से लीगल करके गया था जो कुछ जो करना था वो दिमाग से अपना करके गया था सरकार की तरफ से हमको ये दस लाख मिला मैंने उसके बीबी बच्चों को घर लेके दिया वो पैसे में ताकि वो बच्चा रोड पे नहीं आए With the launch of the ministry's passport seva project, an era of passport revolution has been sweeping the nation. The expediting demand for passports is no more a challenge. Passport simplification हो गया है. Update करवाना हो या नया passport issue करवाना हो. It is very hassle-free. It is quick, and uh, everyone over here is very friendly and it's comfortable now. करीब दो महीने लगते थे passport आने में. बट अभी इतना सिस्टमेटिक हो गया है सब कुछ कि आपका पासपोर्ट दो से तीन हफ्ते में मिनिमम आ जाएगा टुडे 37 पासपोर्ट ऑफिसर्स 93 पासपोर्ट सेवा केंद्र एंड 424 पोस्ट ऑफिस पासपोर्ट सेवा केंद्र अक्रॉस द नेशन एंड 196 इंडियन मिशन एंड पोस्ट अब्रॉड आर वर्किंग टूगेदर टू ब्रिंग पासपोर्ट टू एवरी डोर स्टेप ऑफ द कंट्रीमन Home to all major religions and diverse cultures, the idea of India as a vibrant pluralistic society has struck a chord, making the world more amenable to India's aspirations. Which is why, in mapping the way ahead, cultural diplomacy and civilizational values will acquire a greater salience in India's foreign policy. The India way would be really brand India, you know, brand India in terms of what is unique to us as a power. Uh, the fact that uh, we have this uh, extraordinary diaspora uh, which which connects us in a way in which it does to very few parts the fact that today we would be increasingly a pool of global talent that uh, our heritage our traditions you know what you've seen happen with yoga or what you see now happening with uh, indian traditional medicine and also more modern way i would say shaping the discourse Brand India is the India way which is an asset actively projected on the global platform by the Ministry of External Affairs in partnership with around 38 Indian cultural centers from all over the world This cultural connect is reflected in myriad ways ranging from the worldwide celebrations of the International Day of Yoga and the designation of kumbh mela an intangible cultural heritage of humanity by unesco i think we owe a, a lasting thanks an everlasting thanks to the, to india and to its heritage and to its people for having this for creating this system this practice and more importantly for sharing it with the world in building a new india the 31 million strong indian diaspora is going to play a critical role by remitting more than 80 billion dollars this soft power and its contribution and cooperation will help fulfill the dreams and aspirations of all indians i think the record over the last 5 years has been very much that the country standing in the world has gone up i think people recognize it i think the indian people recognize it and it was one of the many factors for the vote of confidence uh, which was given uh, to the government uh, so uh, i'm i'm very uh, today uh, very honored very privileged to lead the mea team 
to take the last five years forward. Going forward, as it scripts its global ascent on its own terms, India will make independent decisions navigating the geopolitical landscape to primarily benefit people of the country. हमारे प्रयास 130 करोड़ भारतीयों को केंद्र में रखकर हो रहे हैं लेकिन ये प्रयास जिन सपनों के लिए हो रहे हैं वो सारे विश्व के हैं हर देश के हैं हर समाज के हैं प्रयास हमारे हैं परिणाम सभी के लिए सारे संसार के लिए है